So now we've got you creating jumping and killing sessions like a boss. You're slicing through those projects with ease. Let me show you one more thing that will be the cream on top of your silky smooth workflow that we've been working towards. Um, this is heavily inspired by Chris Toomey's TMUX course. In that course, he has a, a script called TAT. Uh, this, I have a fork of that script that is my own personal use. I call it TA. So um, it will give me a pop-up for a whole directory of projects. Or actually, it gives me a fuzzy matcher to switch sessions to a directory of projects. Um, it will create the session if the session doesn't exist or switch to the session if the session already exists. Um, let's, let's just run it from the command line here. Um, if I can select my terminal, uh, make a new split, we can run TA, get, uh, actually TA, not TAT, uh, TA git. This is a list of all the directories in my git directory. I can do things like uh, fuzzy match. So I can do diff and open up Ketro diff um, by default. This is my default layout. It's the layout I use on 90% of my projects. And it's just going to be NeoVim on top, uh, shell on the bottom. By default, I pop open a find file so I can quickly um, you know, maybe I want to search for some pi files, go to diff.py and get to work here. I'd probably do a zoom and get rid of the quick fix window and start working. Um, I can alt B to get back to, to my last project. Um, let's zoom in here. Uh, so what I've done is I've set it up with a key binding. So I, I hold down control hit my prefix, control B, and then hit G. So I hold control, hit B, G, and I get this pop-up. Same pop-up we just saw. I can go back into Ketra diff, and it'll attach right where I was just a minute ago. Uh, I, you know, maybe I get a, a text from someone else at work. Hey, can you, can you take a look at this uh, Space Flights project for me real quick? I'm not sure what's going on in there. I need you to search for the nodes.py and you know tell me what the issue is and i might you know have something there um i'm in and out of dozens of projects every day this is like like i said this is the cream on top of the silky smooth setup we've been working towards this helps me a whole bunch um here we talk about the default layout i just showed you um if you have more projects, like you've got, um, I have this, so I've got a work projects directory for all my private projects. I've got a Git directory for my, uh, for my public projects. Um, I have another article out there called Simlink directory, but uh, this script will do it. Uh, just run this script to remove your projects directory make your projects directory and link both work and get into that projects directory. And then you can assign, you know, just whatever hotkey you want to do TA and then projects instead of Git. So now you have a full listing of all your projects. Um, that's something I do. I'm not going to show it on here. I've got all my private projects in there. Um, I've got some links here uh, to uh, default Tmux key bindings, uh, Chris Toomey's course, if you have not taken Chris Toomey's TMUX course, make sure you check it out. It's amazing. It's what took me from that uh, messy multi-session pains and splits all over to a very focused session-based workflow. Um, highly recommend it. Uh, I've got a link to my TA script. Uh, you can copy it, fork it. Uh, main thing you're probably going to want to change is the way I do the layout. Uh, you can find in there just where it does the, the scripted layout. Change it to the way you like to lay out your projects. Um, yeah, that is my Tmux TA for doing Tmux uh, projects based on a directory. As always, the link to the whole playlist of all of our Tmux videos will be linked, as well as a link to this 
uh, this video's article.